So this video is going to be all about how to set up a virtual business address step by step. Now this is going to be dependent on where your business is located around the world but if you follow this process you'll be able to understand where to go to actually look for which company to register your virtual business address with and actually how to set it up. So the main aim of setting up a virtual business address is to keep your personal residential address separate from your business. So you can actually publish everything to do with your business and keep your personal life private. So in order for me to share how I set my virtual business address up for my company, I'm going to dive straight on over into my desktop. So here I am in Google and whichever country you are in, I would simply Google virtual business address and then see what comes up for your chosen location. So this is going to be totally dependent on where you are lo located in the world, which company you go through. So uh, I always like to look past the sponsored ads uh, and then just have a look where uh, the actual organic listings appear. So the first organic listing past the sponsored ads is your virtual online, uh, uh, your virtual office in London. Uh, then it's icon offices and then it's the London office. So I have actually used the service, the London office to register my business address in the UK as a limited company. So if I click over to the London office um, or you can just simply Google the London office.com. And again, if you're finding something similar to where you're located in the world, just have a look through and have a look at, through at some of the services and some of the pricings that they offer and then just have a look to see which one is right for you. So this is the one I went through and the pricing, I actually went through a secondary company. I'm going to go into that in a little bit more detail, but I went through um, this company here called Inform Direct and the package that I bought with them actually gave me um, a virtual business address through the London office. So have a look at some of the pricings here and it all depends what your requirements are. If you simply need a virtual business address or if you need a telephone line or if you need a, a mailing service. So as mail, as like hard copy mail would come to your business, this service can actually scan it for you and then email it to you. That's exactly what I wanted. As I'm building a paperless business, a digital business, that's exactly the service that I wanted. So this is my London office account. So my business is Tim Peatman Limited and you can find all of this on Companies House in the UK. So I have a registered business address. I am the sole director and it is a limited company. But you can have a look into your account and you can see that it's given me a London uh, W1 um, business address 85 Great Portland Street. This allows me to put this address on the bottom of any marketing emails or anything that my company has to do with. So it's just hiding your personal address and any mail that gets sent to my business address, this company then scans it and then emails it to me. So this is an email in my inbox. I've just searched for the London office and it's just saying, hey, you have, you've got some mail and then you just click open the attachment and if it's anything you need to action, you can then action it. And it's a paperless way of doing business. So the reason I actually found or discovered this London office was actually going through Inform Direct, and I wanted to incorporate my company and I was searching for companies how to incorporate and then this was the service that I bought. I think I bought the capital one. Um, I wanted to incorporate, incorporate my company with a London registered office with it. So I think I paid for the capital one in the UK and then it came with an attachment of the London office. So I got a, a dashboard which has everything to do about Inform Direct, which, which keeps all the paperwork digital and separate. And then I have an account with the London office as well. So as you can see down here, this is all of the, the paperwork and share certificates uh, and everything about my company, the officers, the shareholders, the classes of the shares and people with significant control. And then it gives you just a few key dates here. Uh, in three months, I've got a file a confirmation statement and then my next accounts are due in a year. So you can get all of this in the UK if you just go to Companies House uh, and then I'm just going to have a look for my company and then it's just going to list everything here. So my incorporation um, and there you go. There is my virtual business address. So I would encourage you wherever you are in the world, go through this process, Google virtual business address or how to set up virtual business address 
actually have a look at some of the service providers that allow you to register a virtual address with them. If you are incorporated or a limited company or LLC or sole trader, it is always advisable to get a virtual business address so then you can manage everything online, especially if you are building an online business and want to travel whilst running your business on the road. So hopefully that's provided some value to you and you understand actually where to start, but this is just one piece of the larger online puzzle. If you still don't know where to start, you can check out my on-demand and entirely free workshop of how I set up my online business. Head to timpeakman.com forward slash workshop and you can get access to this free training today. All I talk about is the three main things that every online business needs and how you can start to generate or start to actually build up earnings online to make your first $1,000 of online revenue. This is simply what I would do and what I would look at if I hit the reset button tomorrow. Head to timpeakman.com forward slash workshop and I look forward to seeing you again on another video soon.